Okay, sitting here in uh, Taylorville, Illinois is where we're at. And that is a Frisco steam engine. It's an Alco. It was built in 1912. It was just purchased, as I try to keep the camera in the shot, I'm trying to read notes and uh, keep the, the video in the shot here, but it was just purchased by the Connecticut Valley Railroad uh, Company uh, this past fall, which also operates as the Essex Steam Train and Riverboat Company. Uh, again, this was an Alco, built in 1912. It's a 282 steam locomotive. And it's Frisco number 1352. You can see the tender there. The tender with the big bold letters on the side of it. And the locomotive. Now, that locomotive had been in the that engine building right there. It was pulled out about a decade ago. And it was going to be... Uh, basically transported by another uh, steam company that was trying to uh, rebuild it, renovate it, whatever you call it. But they never got around to getting it out, taking it any further than that. So he took it out of the building with the intentions of restoring it, and they never got around to doing it. So they sold it in this past fall, which would have been the fall of uh, 2023. It's now, uh, as I'm recording this, March of 2024. The nice thing is, I was here a year ago, and you really could not see the locomotive. You could see the tender, but the locomotive was not visible at all because of the trees and the debris and all that. But now, it looks like somebody went in there and chopped out all that debris. If you look along the fence there, right about to your right of your picture here, um, there's the pile of debris and stuff that they cut out. So my guess is, because they cut out the debris in front of it too, out over here past the fence, um, my guess is they're going to move this or try to move this sometime this year, maybe this summer, late spring, I don't know. But anyway, there it sits. And it is massive. It's hard to tell from where I'm at, but that thing is huge. I can't tell you how many feet in the air that is. The problem is it's been sitting out in the elements for more than a decade now, and it's pretty well rusted over. They're going to have to do a lot of work to restore that. But the uh, company in Connecticut that's uh, buying this, it'll be their fourth steam locomotive and they plan on restoring it. So some good news, it will definitely be put back into use at some point, uh, maybe a few years, but better than sitting around here in Illinois out in the woods. So the bottom line is an interesting find, steam locomotive, in Taylorville, Illinois, that's where we're at right now, and uh, it'll eventually be uh, hopefully moving and moving passengers once again for at least their museum or whatever uh, kind of operation they have over there. So anyway, in Illinois now and hopefully in Connecticut sometime in the future. In the next clip, we're going to see a passenger train or some cars from a passenger train, and you're going to hear me speculate when I recorded it was it from Chicago? Were they from St. Louis? Were they from some other city? After I recorded it, I looked up the uh, logo, matched the logo. These cars are St. Louis Metrolink cars. St. Louis Metrolink cars. When you hear me talk about Chicago, wasn't from Chicago. St. Louis Metrolink. Here you go. So the next oddball one in the middle of nowhere is in the town of Macon, Illinois, along it, along the side of what were at one time Illinois Central Tracks, more recently Decatur Junction, or Prairie Lines, somewhere along there. But anyway, the oddity is right next to those grain elevators, for what are used for grain storage. Anyway, let's go take a look next to the grain elevator. So parked, oddly enough, next to some grain elevators in rural Macon, Illinois, south of Decatur are these passenger cars. Passenger car linked together. It has a big M on the front like it's a Metra. I don't know whether that's from Chicago or some other city. Both cars have like if you were to have a stop they're both listed as test. Why they're here I don't know. This is this could be for storage for some reasons. 
if they're not usable anymore, why wouldn't they just be, uh, you know, scrapped? Why you would have trucked... They were actually trucked down here, is my understanding. Why you would have trucked them down here to put them in storage, I don't know. Maybe the storage fees down here are a lot cheaper. This is on the old Decatur Junction line. Uh, they pretty well don't do any business anymore other than storage. But just really odd, parked out in the middle of central Illinois in the middle of nowhere. All right, so this is an active grain elevator for grain storage. And it's just parked right underneath. Pretty cool to see it in rural Illinois. It certainly wouldn't have any uh, ability to pick up passengers. It could, I guess, but why? I mean, there's been passenger service here since about the, oh, I would guess the 50s or 60s, more like the 50s. There is a small little train station still here, but it's just the, uh, the building. It's nothing that's even used anymore, but interesting to see this parked here where it is. If you look right on the front, you can see the M. Again, I don't know whether that's from Chicago. I'm going to guess it is. That'd be the closest thing around here. We're about three hours south of Chicago. You know, whether it's Metro or from some other city. I don't, I don't know of any other city in Illinois other than Chicago or down around the St. Louis area that would have... Uh, this type of car. So it's, I'm guessing it's from Chicago, but it may not be. Both cars are connected together and marked number 124. By the doors where the passengers would get on, it says Wi-Fi. I suspect the Wi-Fi is not operable. <laughs> but interesting to see it stored all the way down here in central Illinois. Here's the final head-on look. It's kind of sitting in the shadows right now of the grain elevator, but there it is, head on. Interesting find, and I'll see you next time. Please hit like and subscribe. Hitting subscribe helps my channel, and it's free.